Hey Pisces, it's your girl Blue Phoenix and I'm back with a message for us for this week coming up. I do hope this message finds you well and if you're not well, it is my intention that you will be by the end of this reading. Don't forget to tap that like button, exchange some energies with me, you know what I'm saying? That also helps me tap further into your energy for future readings. Huge shouts out to all of the planeteers and VIP citizens of planet Pisces and also all the other existing citizens. Thank you all for coming back home. I've missed you. So I'm feeling a very calming energy coming towards you this coming week, right? I just did another reading and that reading was crazy, okay? And now that I have cleared that energy and I'm tapping into this energy for the week ahead, it feels very calming very zen is what i'm hearing i'm also seeing seeing yin and yang some sort of balance coming in this week for you pisces okay just very calm energy all right we have black tourmaline here all right it says blocks and repels negative energies and psychic attacks it is good for grounding protection root chakra okay that's what the girl out here doing you know what i'm saying the root chakra meditation you know what i'm saying anyway protects against emfs boost self-confidence um and cloaks against negativity it is associated with the signs of scorpio libra and capricorn so any of those um signs can be significant all right all right, you also have the last six houses here, okay? Interpersonal house related to communications, relationships, or interactions between people, all right? So let's see, Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces regarding this week, this coming week, all right? This week here, all right? So what messages do you have for Pisces? Thank you for being here, Pisces. All right. Oh, and if you're new here, I don't know if I said, hey, hey, boo. <laughs> we glad you made it to the house, okay? All right. Don't forget to get your citizenship papers by visiting the subscribe button. All right, before you leave at today. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces regarding this week? leo a leo could be significant the house of creativity and good fortune sixth chakra okay so that's like your third eye okay so intuition could be significant this week all right it says sexuality good luck children abundance opportunity spontaneity love the strength you rely on most to make things happen the need to create is an essential aspect of consciousness and spirit. Stay in touch with your inner child this week. All right. So there may be some sort of like risk that you take this week or some sort of like doing something new, trying something new. I even heard food for some of you guys. Okay. All right. Got a little pain in my wrist. What's going on? That's spur. Okay. All right. But yeah, it's trying something new. You got the fool. Okay. An Aquarius could be significant. All right, it's something unexpected that's happening this week, Pisces, okay? All right, it says unlimited possibilities, okay? If you see that though. All right, we also have the nine of cups here on the bottom of this deck. I feel some sort of ease coming over you. All right, spirit messages for Pisces regarding this coming week here. What do they need to know about this week, spirit? come on support okay and the high priestess you have the three of cups and the seeker of wands this is the page of wands it is definitely something here you got the high priestess pisces energy on the bottom of the deck all right there is ease it's something here about ease and receptivity allowing even some sort of support to come in for you okay a sagittarius aries or leo could be significant here all right, a younger, it's something about your childlike nature here or a, or a child or younger energy here, Pisces, okay? All right, it's something with your inner child possibly, okay? And this seeker of wands, like a new discovery, a new adventure. It's something about you trying something new this week, Pisces, all right? Oh, Lord. The sun, I'm telling you, this is the big-ass kid called 456 on the clock. 
I'm here and follow the steps or follow the guidance or something you're going to get this week, especially with this high priestess here, Pisces, okay? 504 is on the clock. New Orleans could be significant, all right? All right. Okay, but the high priestess in the sun is like real life. And then look, dark and light. Balancing out the moon and the sun. I'm telling you. You see the moon right there? Right? I'm telling you, it's something about a yin and the yang, a balance coming about this week. Tell me more. Sunflowers could be significant. Okay. Chrysanthemums. Got dang. Okay. What is this coming in for Pisces this week? What do they need to know about this week? Messages for this week, spirit. That's a lot of cards. Okay. Then you got fulfillment on the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Cups. I'm telling you now. Ride with me. Let's see where this message go. All right. You got the Eight of Cups. The Three of Swords. The Six of Wands. And the Sword of Truth with the Ace of Swords. All right. So we walking away from something here. Okay. All right, you, ha you have support in whatever this is you're walking away from. It could have caused you sorrow or something, okay? Some sort of sadness or something here. It was some sort of awakening here. Some sort of truth or revelation will be coming to you this week that is going to help you to go into some sort of direction that is going to that holds a lot of success for you here, Pisces. You see that? That's the six of wands. It's getting your flowers while you're here. This is my Jesus on a donkey card. You understand what I'm saying? All right, something about you being appreciated outside of your hometown or something or outside of your family, okay? You know what I'm saying? What they say, like, uh, uh, something about you don't get credit in your hometown or something like that. Jesus said up in the Bible or something. I don't know. Anyway, I feel like that's significant, especially with family or something. Like, you might get most support from people that might not be in your family okay so it's like some kind of sort of like unexpected support or an increase in your support system or something i'm telling you look the justice is up under the dark and light yin and yang what is this revelation for pisces this coming week what are, what are they revealing the tower unexpected wow a Scorpio or an Aries could be significant. All right. Whatever this is that you're looking for this coming week, whatever this is, whether it's cleared, whatever, you're going you're gonna to find it. You see what I'm saying? And you got support while you're looking for it. Why are you trying to find whatever this is you're looking for this week? I don't know. It could be your damn keys. I don't know. Okay? You're going to find it, though, whatever it is. All right? But you got the support, right? The Three of Cups. All right? This could be family or friends or something, right? Because the Three of Cups, that's like the people that you care about. Your, your heart is open to these people. All right? But this can also, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Some sort of support here that's going to help you walk away from this revelation. This Three of Swords. Something that could be kind of painful and the truth hurts is what i heard okay you might have to tell the truth to somebody here it's something about walking away though but you walking away from this is leading you to some sort of success and clarity here that's going to bring in fulfillment this new start all right okay all right on the art deck we have listen I am actively reversing all curses. I am aware of places in my life where I was trained to self-sabotage. I am eager to learn and open to new perspectives. I find myself exactly where I need to be in the company of the right people. Ooh, this could even this could even be in regards to something you do, like for work even. Okay, I do what I love and I love what I do. All right, 88 could be significant. All right, you got the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles here. All right. What is this? Why well, I got this? No, what? I am patient and take small steps to nurture my work. It might be something here about your work, though, Pisces. All right, you might be doing something different with your work or something. Some of you guys could even be um, starting a new job, okay? All right. Some sort of new adventure is here for you, though, Pisces. I'm telling you, the Three of Wands is up under that. But you got some sort of like new adventure here coming to you, coming towards you this week. I just keep hearing, no, you have support, okay? 
<laughs> support doesn't always have to be in its physical realm. It could be, you know what I'm saying? The realm we can't see. <laughs> but you got the three of wands. Pro progress. Confidence. Moving forward. Waiting on your ships to come in. All right. Okay, something about you being adaptable this week. Okay, there might be some sort of conflict that make you look at something a different way. Listen, it's it's your work. Or it might be competition that makes you might, I don't know, you might look in on the competitor and see what they doing and be like, oh, I could do that, but better or something like that. I don't know. All right. It's something about you coming from a place of love. Okay. And whatever this is that you're doing, you make people feel um, ease, familiarity comfort happiness alignment is what i heard too all right okay yeah you ease people's like i heard guilt as well all right you could be a reader okay very sensitive to you don't have to be a reader but you could be very tapped in okay to the energetic realm i'm telling you right come on ants come on now y'all be violating ask permission be crawling all on me Okay, look, you got the King of Cups with the Queen of Cups out here. That is what? Balance. Okay, yin and yang. That is a pair. Okay, this is nothing but Pisces. Damn energy out here. We got Scorpio and Cancer too. Them signs be significant too. But come on, Pisces. You got the Hangman, the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, and the High Priestess. All right. A Cancer could be significant. Oh, wow. Whatever this is that you were unclear about, because the tower is right over here as well. Whatever this is you were unclear about, you're gaining some sort of clarity. Clarity. Okay. Cl Claire, that name could be significant. Clarissa got down. She explains it all from what I heard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I'm so confused. All right. What else is coming towards Pisces this coming week? Some sort of, look at here now, come on abundance. Come on abundance. You see that? All right, you got the 10 of wands, right? It's something about you being able to balance something out here though. Cause I feel like there is some sort of like shake up here, especially the five of wands came out, the tower is here twice and you got the 10 of wands, right? But it's, it's okay, how spirit? What is, what is this? The two of pentacles and the ten of wands. What that's what is that for Pisces? It's something that you're gonna have to take your time with. Okay? It's something you're gonna have to take your time with. All right. I'm telling it might be this might be a financial reading. I don't know. Y'all put the energy where it go. All right. But you got the emperor here, okay? Like boss, the boss, the leader. Okay. He he looks very feminine to me. Okay. It looked like he got the sun on his, he got the sun and the stars and lightning. That's interesting. When I tell you what I tell you, I be telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> when I tell you whatever it is that you're seeking this week, you are going to be enlightened, right? I heard seeking, ye shall find. Knocking, a door will be opened, okay? I don't even know if that's how the scripture go. But that's what I heard. Ask and help will be given. You understand what I'm saying? It's something about, okay, yeah, look, now, 1111, wake up call. <gasps> oh, fuck, are you serious? Bruh. <laughs> I looked out of my cars. I see 1111 spirit, like, look to the right. Oh, okay. <laughs> that bit bit now because it's 11 12 now i'm telling you something like you're gonna get some insight i'm telling you now you gotta listen though you know what i'm saying spirit, look I look if you get an inkling because spirit don't be talking about you like hey blue tell pisces that no <laughs> it's subtle you understand what i'm saying but it's it's like an energetic pull so be open high priestess okay out here on the board be open to those nudges and and those like you just feel it like pay attention all this sensitivity and shit that came out with all these cups and stuff i'm so excited for you you're gonna feel it okay something about time or time management as well okay wake up call that thing calling out to somebody what they talking about what you talking about 
Okay, all right. Maybe they'll tell us later. <laughs> what y'all cooking for dinner tonight, Pisces? I'm home. I ain't ate nothing today. What else for Pisces? It's some sort of balance here, though, because you got the temperance here, too. Sagittarius energy with the Sage of Wands. That's the King of Wands. That's more I am energy. That's more leader energy, okay? Conjunction here, okay? I'm telling you, some sort of support here coming in, all right? Even partnership this coming week, all right? It's something about you taking your time with something, though. All right, okay? All right, the number one could be significant, all right? Also, the number zero, Okay? All right, the the Sage of Wands. This is the King of Wands. He looked like he thinking of a master plan. Okay, all right, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It's something about preparing for a journey too, or getting ready to travel or something here for someone. Okay, it, and it it stayed here. All right. All right, some of you, okay. All right, yeah. What is this spirit? Coming in for Pisces this week, what is this? What is the eight of cups that they walking away from? That's what I really wanna know. For some of y'all, for some of y'all, it's real life travel though. Like somebody traveling this week or something. You got the hang one, right? Mo Pisces energy, okay? All right, gaining a new perspective here. Whatever that you, whatever this is, is gonna allow you, this new perspective is gonna allow you to move forward in a certain area and try something new, which is gonna bring in fulfillment and abundance. And it's like, you don't have to worry. Something's gonna just work out here. It's just gonna happen. The conjunction is here. I find myself exactly where I need to be in the company of good people. You got support right here. You got the angels out here talking about, hey, hey, y'all. They talking. Y'all here. They say, hey, tell Pisces. They say, hey. That's their wings. <laughs> Come on. We're like ruled by Neptune. Gotta have some kind of imagination, Pisces. Even the most indifferent Pisces got to be a good dreamer you know what I'm saying come on not Neptune <laughs> use your imagination literally remember at the beginning of the video it's somebody tap into your child like nature that shit is fun so y'all go do that shit like go go play pretend real talk especially if it's something that you want to manifest let's say you want to manifest your own company you want to manifest being an entrepreneur make yourself feel like a fucking entrepreneur for a day make yourself feel like a boss for the day I'm serious Real life. <laughs> like, this shit works. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's all about what we be believing about ourselves. That's the energy we put out into the universe. You know what I'm saying? You believe you're a fucking boss. You'll start attracting um, opportunities to be what you acting like you are. I'm just telling you. Now, I got a whole two, three books of receipts in my room. I'll show you one day, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you. The shit work. All right? You got the four swords here. It says respite. Right? That's that recovery phase. What is the Eight of Cups here, Spirit, for Pisces? The Four of Cups. Ooh. Something you had to possibly process. Okay? Some sort of truth that may have been, like, real talk. That may be a little, like, hard to heal or something. The truth, may it might be hard to heal, but it's going to help you. Okay? It's, gonna, it's literally going to help you. All right, it's something about you being patient with something though. Like, you got the Knight of Pentacles here talking about it's slow and steady. Listen, and, and, and I'm patient and take small steps to nurture my work. Oh, here go the card again, y'all. I'm able to find stability amongst emotional, amidst emotional upheaval. This Eight of Cups, Three of Swords, Four of Cups with this Sorrow card here in the Tower. Excuse me. But look what happens right after that. I boldly move forward as I embark on my healing journey, knowing that the worst is behind me. I am safe. I am stable. I will always have what I need. Okay? All right? If you start feeling overwhelmed this week with anything, all right, affirm yourself. Shit, ants. Come on now. Sorry, y'all. I only take on what I can handle and reach out for help when I feel overwhelmed. Two of Pentacles. You have support. Okay? All right? It's something about something being right in your face, though. Something that you're looking for, and then it's going to just show itself to you. It's just, it's, it's literally, it's, it's 
it's gonna it's just gonna come into alignment okay something's been challenging bringing some sort of justice or balance into something here but keep your hope baby first of all you're favored you understand what i'm saying anything your spirit it's you finna have this breakthrough look you got the ace of swords out here again with the three of pentacles more support collaboration and the seven of pentacles right reaping your rewards from your hard work okay it's some sort of co co communion is what i was about to say it's some sort of like bond that's gonna happen this week or some sort of help or assistance or a meeting no uh partnership that's the best word for it some sort of partnership this week okay hello how are you little damsel fly oh she's so cute Anyway, Pisces, I hope that this met you where it needed to meet you and gave you some sort of clarity for what's to come this coming week. I do love you and I appreciate you. Don't forget to like the video, share your planet, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.